Ordway provides a platform slash solution to automate uh, how fast growing organizations are collecting uh, revenue from their customers. So everything from quoting and contracts to billing and invoicing to things like revenue recognition, uh, accounts receivables, collections, payments, really that entire ecosystem of how uh, customers actually get money to you. We really flip a switch to automate as much of that as possible, um, no matter how complex those processes are. The organization is about three and a half years old right now, so we're, we're still relatively new. Um, we are uh, Series A funded, so um, you know we're we're in a in a really hyper growth mode right now. Um, my role within Ordway is uh, managing the uh, sales and sales development function within the company. Uh, so really, I'm overseeing everything that happens from a demand generation perspective. I'm over overseeing everything from a market and sales development and account development perspective, uh, as well as kind of stepping in to uh, assist with managing uh, pieces of the sales team and really jumpstart every sort and every option of our cold outbound prospecting, as well as our inbound prospecting. Our biggest challenge um, is figuring out messaging as well as connecting with the right folks. Um, so in our industry, there's a handful of players that have been around for quite a while. And um, some of them are kind of on the enterprise side where they're dealing with you know, the publicly traded Fortune 500 companies of the world. And some of them are more on the SMB side where they're dealing with, you know, sub $5 million revenue companies. And we're really in the middle. Uh, so we're trying to carve out our sweet spot. So that's where our our kind of struggle comes into play is just finding really the, the, the companies that are the right fit to make sure that they see the value in our service versus, you know, a point product that allows them to do just the basics that, you know, might cost less than we do or an enterprise product that has the foothold in the market that we just don't have quite yet. Right now, um, one of the struggles that um, we have as far as uh, relating to our, our use of Belkins is um, we, we just don't really have any sort of bandwidth focusing on Europe, Middle East, and Africa. Um, we have an account executive um, who covers that territory, but they're based in uh, the US. so. Um, we don't really have any sort of regional local coverage um, and to be honest we don't have internal resources with a ton of experience as far as prospecting into those regions go and i know that there's uh you know some differences and some strategies as, as well as regulations that needs to be taken into account so that's really where belkins has helped us is to, to jump start that prospecting effort uh, we've used one or two other vendors in the past uh, to get opportunities out of Europe and uh, Middle East and Africa, but um, Belkins has kind of come in and, and shown that they've been much more efficient and providing uh, you know a much uh, you know higher quality of, of opportunities as well as you know a, a good quantity of opportunities to, to boot. I mean, partnering with the Belkins team has been seamless. Everything's been um, you know really really easy. Um, you know, there's not a lot of um, you know constant oversight that's needed. That's a problem that I've seen with some other uh, outside agencies for um, business development uh, that sometimes require, uh, you know, additional oversight, additional um, internal resources to manage. And Belkins has kind of been a, a bit of a self-starter where we kind of give them a plan and, and walk through our vision and they're able to execute.